ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! <laughs> Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I'm Jake, and today we're going to see all there is to see in the sea because our guest is a fish. <laughs> a fish? Yeah. Would, would you excuse us a moment? Jake, Jake, our friends out there expect an exciting show, and you give them a fish? Stinky, please give our guest a chance. Then together we can learn what it's like to be a fish. <laughs> well, I can tell you what it's like. It's wet. Very, very oh. wet. Trust me, there's a lot more to fish than that. Oh, yeah, well, they're good swimmers, too. But big deal, you know. Don't listen to him. <laughs> he gets mad when I'm right. You're not right. See? Oh. And now it's time for. That's amazing. Today we take a look at Lake Tanganyika. Tanganyika. As you'll see as we come through these clouds, it's a huge lake in East Central Africa, and it's home to more than 275 different species of fish, and they belong to 24 different families of fish, and they all live in Lake Tanganyika. The many fish of Lake Tanganyika. Another animal fact that's fun to pronounce and will make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> now, Stinky, you have to admit, it's pretty impressive that there are all those different kinds of fish in Lake Tanganyika. <laughs> <laughs> sure, but I still think we need a more exciting guest. You mean like a skunk? Exactly. Not today, because now we're going to meet our guest. From the highest mountain lakes to the deepest oceans, his tank is right over there. Over there? Larry the Fish. Come on. Oh, all my fish pals are so proud of me being on the show today. And I get to meet Stinky and Jake. Uh, hiya, Lair. Hey, Larry, good to have you on the show. Oh, good to be here. But we mustn't dawdle. There are more than 22,000 species of fish, and I want to tell you about each and every one of them. Oh, hold on a minute. 22,000 species? But I thought fish were just fish. Oh, there's a lot more to us than you can imagine, Stinky. Let me show you. Okay. You see, we fish live wherever there's water. And because there are many different kinds of water, salt water, fresh water, hot water, cold water, there are many different kinds of fish. Like this jellyfish here. Technically, it's not a fish because it has no backbone. But it has adapted to its environment by taking an unusual shape. Yeah, but other than that, you sea creatures are all alike. I mean, you all breathe water, right? <laughs> no, no, we don't breathe water. Fish breathe oxygen, just like you and all the other animals who live on land. But where do you get the oxygen from? Yeah, I don't see any air down there. <laughs> well, it's there in the water. You see, fish have a special breathing organ called gills. That lets us get oxygen out of the water. Well, where did fish get stuff like gills and fins? Well, we've had a very, very long time to develop them. Fish have been around for more than 480 million years. And from those early fish, you've now developed into more than 22,000 different species. Mmm, mm, that's right, Jake. There are more species of fish than there are of birds, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals put together. And here's one of my favorites. Who's that? That's the dogfish. I promised that I'd get him on the show today. Looking good there, fella. That's a dogfish, but he looks more like a shark than a dog. Very good, Jake. The dogfish is a kind of small shark that lives in the Gulf of Mexico. Whoa, what's that? Relax, Stinky. That's just a close look at the dogfish's eye. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> dogfish live in deep water, and when they swim, they use their whole body in a wave-like motion to push themselves forward. See how its natural coloring helps him blend in with the seabed? Fish seem to be masters of camouflage. Well, I still think the fish are just fish. I mean, look at those guys. They just swim back and forth all day like fish. Now, now, they, these are parrotfish, and they are just looking for food. Do they use poison to catch other fish? Oh, <laughs> parrotfish don't eat other fish. They eat coral in the Indian Ocean and Red Sea where they live. Well, can a parrotfish talk like a parrot? <laughs> No, no, Stinky. It's called a parrotfish because of its color and because it has a beak like a parrot. Oh. Parrotfish, lionfish, dogfish, any fish that you can think of. 
They're all out there swimming around the sea. Yeah. Well, I bet I can think of a fish that you can't find in the sea. Oh, <laughs> I don't think you can, Stinky. As the representative of all fish, I bet we have every kind of fish you can think of. Well, okay. Is there a mudfish? <laughs> yes. Rabbit fish? <laughs> yeah. Butterfish, goat fish, guitar fish? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Well, just wait. I'll come up with a fish that you can't find in the world. Uh, but not right now, because right now it's time for... <gasps> Baby, Baby Talk! talk. <clears throat> okay, small fry, the time has come for you to leave my mouth and swim out on your own. Oh, it's so big out there! Yeah, what if we get lost? You won't get lost. I'll be right here. It's no good being down in the mouth. Get out and swim. Swim! Swim! Okay, we'll try. Ready, everyone? Let's go! Very good. I knew you could do it. Hey, it's not so bad. Where are you going? Don't worry, I won't go far. We're out in the big wide water. Swim this way, little ones. Come on, tell me all that, Yeah. We're out in the mouth for good. That's right, my dears. And you're doing fin. I mean fine. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Is there a sergeant fish? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, how about a kingfish? Oh, yes, your majesty. Stinky, before you guess again, take a look at this. It's fish, fish, and more fish. We're a fish. Though we come in every shape and size. We're a fish. Though it's hard to believe your eyes. We're a fish. Be it river or the deep blue sea. We're 20,000 species in variety. Just we achieve. We're a fish. Pumping water through gills to breathe. We're a fish. But it didn't happen in a trice. For hundred million years it took to be precise. We're a fish. So don't fall for that age old tale. Cause a fish is a fish and a whale is a whale. We're a fish. We belong to one family. In pardon stream or river. All yours. Nora, I'm sorry. I'm Wanda Rat, <gasps> reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if one of these animals knows the answer. Excuse me? Yeah? Can you answer a question about fish? Well, could it possibly be about birds? No, but it could possibly be about nests. Uh, okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, all right. Can you tell me which of the following fish build nests? The cichlid fish, the stickleback, the wrasse fish, or the Japanese fighting fish. Hmm. Your answer? Well, if it was up to me, they'd all be honest. I'm so sorry, but that is uh. correct! That is correct! Really? Yep, I got it! Yeah. She <laughs> was absolutely got right! Got it, got it, got it. Just like birds, all four of these fish build nests. I got it. Let's take a look at the stickleback. There are two types of stickleback, the marine 15-spine stickleback, which lives in the sea, and the three-spine stickleback, which lives in fresh water. Both build nests like birds. The fish find bits of wood and other material to make the nest as comfortable as possible for their babies. Believe it or not, only the male builds the nests. This particular stickleback is a male three-spine stickleback. You can tell this because he has a red breast just like a robin. As you can see, he makes a very good job of ensuring it all stays together by nuzzling sand from the center to the sides. Once he is happy with his handiwork, he entices a female to join him in the nest. There is only one mating season a year, after which between 60 to 100 baby sticklebacks appear. The babies will stay in the nest for two or three weeks and then swim off and fend for themselves. This is Rhonda Rat reporting on the stickleback. Back to you, Stinky and Jake. Well, I bet there's no such fish as a grouper, a darter, a croaker, or a puffer. 
Oh, yes, 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 and yes, there is. Yeah. Well, all right, then, how about a roach? Oh, we've got one of those, too. Funny about that, so do we. And here he is now, our very own Eve St. Laurent. <laughs> Bonjour, my petite animal friends. Today, I, Yves Saint Laurent, have prepared my most magnificent meal for today's guests, the fish of the world. Since there are so many fish in the sea, I have cooked up a huge meal of kelp casserole, plankton pot roast, and algae arabiata. Now all we need are the fish to eat it. Here is the food, the pot roast, the casserole, and the arabiata. But where are the fishies? Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy! There's no need to shout. We're not deaf. Come on, boys. What? what? <laughs> Sacre bleu fish. <laughs> uh, redfish, blue fish. Those are two fish. Candlefish, pike, and scup. Those are fish. Ready to give up? <laughs> Never. Look, Stinky, Stinky. You can guess more later. But right now, Larry's gonna show us more fish. Oh, I'd be happy to. Wow, look at those bright colors. What kind of fish is that? That's a clownfish. Ah, oh, shucks. Well, what's wrong, Sidney? Clownfish was going to be my next guest. Oh. <laughs> the, the clownfish is a tropical fish. Many fish from the tropics have bright colors like this. Aren't those bright colors dangerous? It makes the clownfish so easy to see. Yeah, any bigger fish looking for dinner is going to go right for this guy. Oh, the clownfish has a way to protect itself. <laughs> of course, he's a clownfish. He throws custard pies, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the clownfish protects itself by doing what he's doing there. Hiding in the seaweed? That isn't seaweed. That's an undersea creature called a sea anemone. And those things all around the clownfish are tentacles that are filled with poison. Hey, clownfish, get out of there. It's poison. No, Run, go sticky, back to no, the circus. Sticky, relax. The clownfish is immune to the anemone's poison. Oh, what does immune mean? Well, well it just means the poison doesn't hurt it. The anemone protects the clownfish from bigger fish and gives the clownfish a place to hide while it's hunting for small fish. I never realized how different fish and sea creatures work together. Oh, we have to. It's a fish-eat-fish -fish world under the water. Every fish must find a way to protect itself, or it's not going to be around very long. Larry, I've got it. There couldn't possibly be a fish called a shovelhead. Sorry, Stinky, but there is. Well, where do they come up with these names? Beats the devil out of me. And don't bother guessing, because there is a devilfish and an angelfish, too. These are angelfish. Where do they live? In the water. Oh, <laughs> good one, Larry. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jig, I could resist. Anyway, angelfish mostly live in the Indian and Pacific Oceans along the coral reef. Why do they live along the reef? Well, like a lot of fish, they live inside the reef and use it as shelter. It's a natural barrier that bigger fish can't get past. Reefs are another way we protect ourselves. This angelfish looks different from the others. That's true. As angelfish get older, they change their colors and patterns completely. Uh, until recently, scientists thought that the older angelfish and the younger ones were two different species. Ah, so that's one less species. True. But there's plenty more species where that came from. I know, I know. 22,000 more species. Okay, I've got another guess. Roosterfish. Yep, there's a roosterfish. There's also a hogfish and a bondor skate. Oh, Stinky, you can keep trying if you want, but there are so many fish, I don't think you'll ever guess the name that's not a name of a fish. Yes, there isn't a body of water in the world that isn't filled with fish. Oh, what about there? I don't see any fish. Oh, you will. Just wait. There wow. you go. <laughs> Look at all those fish. Yeah, these are called cardinal fish. Why are they all swimming together like that? It's called a shoal of fish when they swim together. And for little fish like these, there is safety in numbers. More eyes to watch out for danger, right? Right. If a bigger fish does show up, you're always safer in a group. There's a good chance he'll grab the fish next door and not you. Hey, that's a starfish. Oh, that's right, Stinky. And like the jellyfish, it's technically not a fish because it does not have a backbone. Well, how do starfish protect themselves? They don't seem to move too fast. <laughs> they sure don't. They can only crawl very slowly across the bottom of the sea. But starfish are covered with spines that make them an unappetizing meal for most fish. 
And if some fish does take a bite, the starfish has a special talent called regeneration. What's regurgitation? No, no, no. Regeneration. Oh. It just means that the starfish can grow back body parts. So, if they lose an arm and there's enough left, they can grow it back. <laughs> well, you've got to admit, stinky fish are more interesting than you thought. Yeah, but I'm still going to try to guess a name that's not a fish. Smelt, snook, sturgeon, ling? Those are all fish. I want Larry to sing. Oh, well... Gosh, I, I'd be delighted. And now here's Larry singing the fish song. The puffish and the ocean pop, the rockling and the rainbow trout, Tandori and the stickleback, piranha and the amajack, the grayling and the jarakee, the paddlefish and anchovy. All the types of fish is found in rivers, lakes, or in the sea. All the types of fish is found in rivers, lakes, or in the sea. Let's see now. Yes. The sawtail and the coolie loads, the swordfish and the common roach, the bobble and the ladyfish, the smelt and other baby fish, and then the European ache or football fish, for goodness sake. All the types of fish is found in river, sea, or in the lake. All the types of fish is found in river, sea, or in the lake. Bluefish, redfish, goldfish, hogfish, redfish, shrimpfish, catfish, dogfish, wolfish, nailfish, cleanfish, ricefish, all, all of the succeeding nice fish. fish. Frogfish, batfish, billfish, stonefish, garfish, cavefish, hagfish, bonefish, hogfish, baitfish, whalefish, oarfish, don't forget my friend the bullfish. Oh, yes. Well, you see, this small relative of the dory has a deep laterally compressed body. The head is pointed with a small sort of... Boring. Still, there's fishes by the score. I know of 20,000 more. All the types of fishes found in rivers, lakes in Ecuador. Ecuador? Couldn't find a fishy name to rhyme with 20,000 more. He couldn't find a fishy name to rhyme with 20,000 more. <laughs> Great song, Larry. Yeah, but I still haven't finished guessing. Well, go ahead, Stinky. Give it your best shot. Okay. Par, perch, and porgy. <laughs> those are not only fish. Those are my attorneys. And now it's time for... Animal Awards! Today we see which of these fish is the ugliest. Oh, uh, hey, speaking of ugly fish, have you ever seen my cousin Horace? Well, is he a fish? No. Boy, is he ugly. As I was saying, which of these is the ugliest fish? Is it the sturgeon? The grouper? Mmm, it's ugly. The toadfish? Mmm. <laughs> or the salmon? And the winner is... The toadfish! Congratulations, toadfish! Winner of today's Animal Award. Mmm, and almost as ugly as my cousin Horace. <laughs> Drumfish, filefish, bonefish. Fish, fish, fish. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Stinky? It's time for a story about what else? Fish. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an angler fish named Alan. Now, Alan liked to hide in the sand. One day, he hid for so long, he got stuck. Yoo-hoo! Hello! Anybody out there? Help me, I'm stuck! He called, waving his dendrite. But nobody heard him. So Alan took things into his own fins. He wriggled and pushed for a while. And then when that didn't work, he pushed and wriggled. He flapped his fins and he, and he finned his flaps. But still he couldn't budge. Then Alan stopped struggling and started thinking, I like being here, he said to himself. So why am I trying to move? When he couldn't think of an answer, he decided to stay where he was. So Alan the Anglerfish stayed stuck in the sand and lived happily ever after. The end. Great story, Jay. <laughs> yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. But you know what, Larry? I give up. I'm never going to think of a name that's not the name of a fish. Oh, come on, Stinky. Give it one more try. Oh, all right. Um, uh, skunkfish. <laughs> Gee, uh, there is no such fish as a skunkfish. Huh? I did it! Jake! Jake! What? I did what? it! I did it! Yeah, I yeah. thought of a name. There's no skunkfish! Oh. Yeah, that, that was real good, Stinky. Uh, well, uh, it was swell meeting you. I, I, I better go. Oh, oh. Well, well, what's the matter with Larry? Well, Stinky, Larry was so proud of all the, all the different kinds of fish in the sea, but... There is no skunkfish. Oh, and now he feels like he let all his fish buddies down. Mm. Well, this is awful. I gotta do something. Well, what can you do? Well, don't you worry. When I put my mind to something, it stays put. Oh, yeah. I got my favorite trunks on, I got my favorite towel, and I'm ready to go, go, go. Oh! Armstrong! Armstrong! Oh. 
Oh. Strong, where are you going? It's habitat time. Well, correction, it's sauna time. No, no, Excuse no. Excuse me. You, I... No, no, you can always go to the sauna, but you can't always go to Lake Tanganyika. Oh, Tanganyika. Come on, come on, come on, Ooh. let's go. Oh, good. So, uh, is this the place that has all those fish? You got it, Armstrong. There are millions. Really? Woo! Oh, wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 20. Wait a minute. Those aren't fish. You're right. They're otters. Otters eat fish. In fact, they're just about the only mammals who were able to catch the tricky cichlid fish. Oh, and there are some barracuda cichlids with their babies. Look at them all. Wow, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Cichlids are very good parents. 30, 30, 30. They guard their little fish called fry until the fry are old enough to survive on their own. Well, you can stop counting now, Armstrong. That's not a fish, but a shore crab. Well, hey, where'd he go? Did I scare him? I don't think it was you. Oh, but that cormorant. He's looking for a cichlid fry to eat. And they're hiding. I guess the cormorant didn't see him. No, they were too smart for him. Way to go, cichlids! There are more than 200 species of cichlids in Lake Tanganyika. They've evolved so that they eat different things. That means they don't have to fight each other for food. For example, some eat algae, while others hunt for food. Let's see, I mean, I mean, ten, and then. One million four hundred thirty-seven thousand three hundred twenty-four. Oh, oh. And then one... no, Armstrong, don't count that crocodile. He's not a fish. Okay, so that's that's three million four hundred fifty-seven thousand two hundred twenty-nine. Well, Bunny, I think I counted all the fish in that lake. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, well, well, <laughs> hey, the, the one that got away. For habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. Oh, and Armstrong the chicken hunt. Just back from Lake Tanganyika. Well, that's all we have time for today, but I'd like to thank our special guest, Larry the Fish. Aw, oh, cheer up, Larry. Yeah, cheer up, Lair. Stinky, oh, are you a... That's right, I'm a skunk fish. <laughs> then there is a skunk fish. I didn't let all the other fish down. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love a happy ending, so until next time, remember to keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. Yeah. <laughs>